So next, go to the next one, uh, which is a bus bar sizing. So I just want to explain about the bus bar sizing for you. So in our third session, we discussed the uh, sizing of conductor. We discussed about the sizing of conductor. But if you see in the substation, uh, these are all the 33 kV feeders coming from a uh, wind form and they are forming a bus and uh, our this is 200 megawatt of wind form, right? And these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or the other uh, uh, 33 kV feeders and again these are forming a form, forming a bus. Now we calculated what is the conductor required for this bus and also we calculated what is the conductor required for this bus. So based on the some conditions like current carrying capacity, thermal stability, and short circuit withstanding capacity. So these are the based on these factors we finalized what is a conductor uh, required here. Now, so that's about the conductor. Fine. Now, this conductor when you are checking when you are uh, when you are implementing this, you have to string. You have to string this conductor uh, on between the two gantries. Vector diagram, where it is, sorry, no, uh, it is simple, uh, here I am calculating the, this is the uh, secondary voltage and this is the primary voltage, if you check this, uh, the secondary voltage to the primary voltage, there should be some delta U, that depends upon the angle of this, so uh, not matching in this. So it's a kind of error, that's it. Yeah, so uh, come to here. So this is one, uh, uh, this uh, gantry and this is one more gantry. Gantry in the sense, tower team, uh, this will be covered in next classes when I'm explaining the layout. So. This conductor, this uh, bus, the conductor which I am using uh, here, that is stringing between these two. It's just connecting between these two. So, now here in a concept, you have to know, you have to uh, know that. So, what is the SAG to be, uh, you have to calculate the SAG and also you have to calculate the suspension insulator which is using to string this bus on both ends that insulator strength so some factors are there so because you was you calculated the conductor but what about this calculation so this calculation we will call as a strain bus calculation this bus we will call as a strain bus strain bus in the sense the conductor which is stringing between the two uh, gantries this we will call as a gantry g a n t r y gantry Gantry in the sound, small towers, generally you can find in the substations. And otherwise, in some projects, instead of this bus, they are using, uh, instead of bare conductor, they are using aluminum pipe. And they are forming a, a rigid bus, which is a aluminum pipe, which cannot uh, move, uh, which cannot uh, move when due to the wind or any other condition or, or any other uh, things. It's a fixed one. So this bus, this type of bus, we will call it as a rigid bus. So we are having two types of connectivity of this bus uh, or this or a double main bus with coupler 220 kV buses, wherever the bus bar, this bus bar can be done. This bus bar design can be done with a strain bus or with a normal uh, ACSR moves or normal con con conductors or by using a aluminum pipe. So if I'm using aluminum pipe, 